Behold, I make all things new. Many people hear these words from the last book of the Bible with fear. One may consider the difficulty in keeping up with today's rapidly changing technology. Or from a consumerist approach, we may fear that to have the new, we must discard the old and proven. The Holy Apostle John's vision of a new heavens and a new earth surely was influenced by the disciples' relationship with Jesus Christ. With the presence of God among us in this new way, God-man, the world itself was made new. We all, individually and collectively as the church, are new. Jesus didn't just add to the covenant between God and humanity, nor did he abolish it. But with his sacrifice, he made it all new, a new covenant. By establishing the church and instituting the holy mysteries or sacraments, Jesus provided that his work of salvation would always be new and contemporary and insisted that we must allow ourselves to do likewise. He gave us the image of new wine breaking out of wineskins that have become old or a new patch pulling away from cloth that has become old. When we hear St. Paul's teaching that we must put on the new man and put aside the old self with its past sins, we may be tempted to lay aside everything of the past. But with a closer reading, we understand that putting on the new man, Jesus Christ, means a break with sin. We recall Jesus telling the rich young man to keep the commandments, the covenant with God, but in a new way, following Jesus. As this is true of each of us, it is true of our church. How is the Byzantine Catholic Church in the eparchy of Parma to remain new? Should we latch on to fads and gadgets of the day? Should we abandon our celebration of the Holy Eucharist and other holy mysteries instituted by Christ as handed down through the centuries? Should we deny the different vocations of our members? In no way. But as the rich young man, we must keep what is good, but with a new zeal, a new confidence in the presence of Jesus Christ. We may or may not do different things, but in allowing Christ to infuse all we do, all will be new. This year we focus on new. Our stewardship poster shows how bread and wine become new and how people become new through the holy mysteries. Through our stewardship, we allow God to use what he has given us to retain our newness. The eparchy is sponsoring a retreat to empower some of us to a deeper relationship with God so that through them God may inspire others in the parishes and that together we will know our role in maintaining the new in 21st century America. The sacrifice of Christ has made the world new, and through the Holy Eucharist he continues to do so. We dare not surrender to the negative signs around us. God's continuous intervention in human history, uniting now with ever and forever, is our hope. He makes us new and asks us to cooperate so that we may be improved.